Hi everyone, my name is Bakari and I'm a writer for AppleMatters.com and today I'm going to do a little tutorial about a little device called X-Keys and this is something you probably haven't seen before if you're a gamer maybe you may have seen it but uh, this is a device which you can use sort of like F-Keys on your keyboard in which you can control all kinds of things um, on your Mac and I want to show you a little bit of an editorial about how to use this device uh, believe it or not they also have a, uh, a similar device for, I can pull it up here, a similar device right here for, this is called a um, kind of a pedal X keys. And actually you can put this on, a, on your floor and actually control things on your Mac just like you would your mouse. But you're only doing it with your foot. Now you may not really believe that but you can. This works really well for, again for gamers, but if, even if you're just uh, not a gamer but you just want to kind of get a lot of things done, say you're a graphic designer or you just do a lot of work on your computer throughout the day and you want to just find some different ways to activate, open up applications, um, you want to be able to mute sound really quickly, you can do a lot of things like that with these two devices and it's all controlled by a uh, kind of a controller that they have and I want to, you know, show you step by step how to do that. They have some information on their website about about how to do it but I don't think it's as good as what I'm going to show you here. So I'm going to show you some step by step on how to set up some macros for these devices. Okay so um, here's the uh, website um, xkeys.com in which you go to to find out about the two devices I'm going to talk about in a little bit. The one is the one here is called xkeys and then they also have one, I forget where it is, but it's one for the X-Keys pad, um, pedal that goes on your floor. And so um, if you don't take a quick look at it here, you can see it on my desk here. And what they do is they send you, um, you, can, you can set it up where you can assign uh, buttons any way you want. They send you some, some kind of a graphic image um, images you can use. You don't have to use these, but these are some common things you can use for, say, your sound or playing iTunes or, you know, cut and paste uh, or something you apply to, you know, spell check or whatever. So, you know, you everybody's going to be different about what they use on here. And so let me just show you really quickly a little bit how it works. Um, for example, if I'm on a web page and I want to enlarge um, you know, enlarge the fonts on here. All I got to do is click. I have a I have a program where I can just do here, push the button, and it does and enlarges the uh, the page here on Safari. And then if I want to decrease it, also, I can just do this here. So again, you know, that's that's real simple there. If I want to um, create a new Safari page, click my button here, and it will just create a new tab for me, um, and I can start from there. All right. Um, if I want to uh, refresh the page, do that. It's taking a little bit of time to do that, but I'm refresh the page, pushing this button here. And so basically, I use mine. Um, I haven't assigned the top buttons yet, but um, it's 24 buttons, and you can pretty much assign any way you want. I use mine in conjunction with a program called Quick Keys um, um, 4.0, which I've have, I've had some video, uh, some tutorials about that as well. So some of my some of my macros are um, linked to some other macros that I use in another automation program. But again, you know, there's a lot you can do with this. It depends on what you do a lot, and you want to just do it really quickly. This prevents you from having to, you know, take your hands off the, um, you know, take your hands off the uh, off the device in order to do a shortcut keystrokes. I'm not really I'm not really a, a, big, a big fan of shortcut keystrokes. So this is why I use that. So let me show you how, once you get the device, what they do is that you download what's called their Control Mate. And in the Control Mate, now this looks very difficult to do, but it's really not, particularly if you're just doing some kind of simple things here. And so basically, what you're going to do is, um, I already see I've already had some of mine already set up and controlled, but you're going to basically uh, click on Programming here, and then you're going to click on what's called controllers and there are a couple of types of controllers um, there is the uh, the one for the foot pedal and then there's one for the 24 uh, keys uh, uh, device that I have as well so we're going to do one for this one here and then as you notice that when you click one of the keys 
on your 24 device, it will tell you which control it is. So in this case, it'll, it'll light up here and it'll say it's button 10. So basically what you want to do first is you want to create a new sheet and you, you click P and then you decide, <coughs> excuse me, then you decide, say you want to do button five. Okay, so we're going to take button five and we're going to slide it over here, right here. All right, then after you do that, what you're going to do is um, decide what you want to do with this. Say if you, you just say, you know, you can, you can, you can do a thing where say you have a block of text and you want to just, you know, like a uh, dear, uh, I don't know, dear client what have you and you have a lot of text right there and and you and you save it that way when you push when you click a button five it will execute that and type all that text out for you okay so you can do that or say that you have uh, you want a, a keyboard shortcut that you want to do say you want to do um, you want to do command this is real simple but command s so you would do you click the command uh, icon there modifier and then you will pull up the S key from what's the, from the keystrokes palette. So this is the keystrokes palette here, and you put it in there. And this right here will define that particular output or that particular uh, output on there as Command S. So when you push button five, it will do the Command S for you. You don't have to do it yourself. So basically, you have. A lot of different kind of controls that you can use and if you're doing gaming there's even a lot more as well um, you can also in your in the extras here there's um, ways to open up applications open up uh, what do you call them the folders uh, or any items in, in you know in your in your or files on your computer um, so there's a lot of different things that you can do there and and that's basically how you do this. You do the same thing for if you if you get the 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 um, what do you call it the pet the what do you hear it is control there. If you get the um, the foot pedal, it's the same thing. You just create a create a um, a, a little a new uh, a, a new control here. Click P and drag in the controls that you want. Now where it says G here, G is for if you want certain controls to only work within a particular application. So these controls here are only work within Safari. So you start a group and name it Safari and, uh, and, and define it that way, okay? And then after that, what you wanna do is, um, then you create all your little uh, controls under that. So that means it will only work within the Safari application. So that, that's really great too, because then you don't, you, can, you don't have to have a lot of um, keys fumbling over each other, okay? So you would just you know do this one, you, you click on this, go to plus, and then find your Safari application to define it here. And you see, we'll go down to S, there you go. Okay, and so you define that as Safari, and then those keys will only work within Safari itself. And so that's basically how you set it up. They have some instructions uh, for you, and you can read those as well. But uh, what I've given you is the crux of it. Um, and when you first get it, it doesn't really make sense to you. And it looks, and this, if you've never done any kind of, you know, programming like this or setting things up, it may look very confusing, but, but it's really not. And again, this is just a really quick way to, to get around your Mac um, and, and not have to just, you know, rely on using keyboard shortcuts or using your mouse all the time. So I hope you like that. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know.